Yo guys, welcome to our channel today. The channel is Nazbin. And kindly, if you have not subscribed, I want to encourage you to subscribe to our channel because that is the best way in which you can always support us. Very sensitive again today. We're going to talk about is a tight vagina more pressurable? Is a tight vagina more pressurable? So these are perceptions, but uh, we're going to base it our uh, discussion on a, a very uh, evidence-based kind of uh, information so that you get to get about it. The perception of pressure during sexual intercourse can vary greatly among individuals and uh, is uh, influenced by various factors like you, you we can, we, we are going to see. So when we talk about uh, tight vagina and being pressurable is a uh, relative so that is a perception so and when we talk about uh, the perception of pleasure during sexual intercourse can vary greatly among individuals and is influenced uh, by various factors uh, like including physical anatomy psychological factors emotional connection and sexual stimulation techniques while some people may associate tightness uh, with increased pleasure, it's essential to recognize that it is not necessary, is not universally true for everyone. So these things are not universal. So it depends from one individual to another. And here are some points to consider. Number one, I'm talking about physical anatomy. When we talk about physical anatomy, we're talking about uh, variability, number one. So vaginal tightness can vary uh, among individuals due to, due to factors such as genetics, age, childbirth, hormonal fluctuation, and muscle tone. Number two, on the physical anatomy, we're talking about perception of sensation. So some individuals may find increased tightness to be pleasurable, while others may prefer a different uh, sensation or level of, ple of, pleasure, of pressure. So on psychological and emotional factors, emotional connection is one of the things where emotional intimacy, trust, and mutual attraction can significantly enhance the sexual pleasure and regardless of uh, vaginal uh, tightness at that particular point. So relaxation and comfort, where feelings of relaxed, comfortable, and free from anxiety or tension during the sexual activity can contribute to overall pleasure and also satisfaction. Another part of it, on the third part of it, is about psychological uh, on the communication and also uh, we're talking about uh, communication and also technique. On communication, open communication with your partner about preference, uh, desires and also uh, uh, and also uh, 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 and also uh, comfort can lead to more pleasurable and also satisfying sexual experience from the both of uh, of uh, the part the partners at that particular point. So on mutual satisfaction, where on the second part of the co communication technique, where variety of stimulation, so sexual pleasure is often influenced by variety of factors, including foreplay, clitoral stimulation vaginal penetration and other erogenous zones. So exper experimenting with different uh, techniques, positions, enhance pleasure for both of the partners. Now, about, on another point is about mutual satisfaction, where we talk about mutual pleasure as number one. The most fulfilling sexual experience of often prioritize mutual pleasure, intimacy, and also emotional uh, and also emotional connection, rather than focusing solely on the physical uh, sensations. Number two, on the mutual uh, satisfaction is about individual preferences. What feels uh, pleasurable for one person may not necessarily be the same for another. So it's essential to prioritize mutual con consent and also respect boundaries and explore what feels best for both of the partners on that particular point. While some individuals may find tightness to be pleasurable during the sexual experience, uh, it is essential to recognize that pleasure is subjective. 
so and can vary greatly among the individuals. So factors such as emotional connection, communication, technique, and overall sexual satisfaction play a significant role in determining the pleasure experience during the sexual activity. So prioritizing uh, mutual respect, consent, and also open communication with your partner is very important, which can lead to fulfilling and pleasurable sexual experience, regardless of the vaginal tightness. So how do we manage uh, this uh, 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 the, this uh, sexual perception on the tightness uh, so that it is addressed as a concern. So managing perception of vaginal tightness or addressing concerns related to uh, sexual uh, that, uh, or the various approaches, it includes uh, some approaches including communication, education, potentially, uh, potentially medical interventions, and here are some of the strategies which we can manage aspect on the sexual health. Number one is about communication. Open dialogue is very important. Encourage open and honest communication with your partner about sexual preferences, desires, and comfort levels. Discuss any concerns or questions you may have regarding vaginal tightness in supportive and also non-judgmental manner. And but it's about to discuss expectations, clarify expectations and dispel any misconception or myths surrounding uh, vaginal tightness. Emphasize that sexual pleasure is multifaceted and influenced by various factors beyond the physical anatomy. Number two, another, another very important aspect about education, and understand the anatomy. So educate yourself uh, and your partner about female genital anatomy, including variability, variability in vaginal size, shape, and elasticity among individuals. Understand the vaginal tightness can, natural, can vary naturally and it is not necessarily correlated with the sexual pleasure, which and the uh, pleasure can, uh, so that you can help alleviate uh, such concerns. So another, another concern is about medical interventions pelvic floor exercises, or what you call kegel exercises, which involve contracting and relaxing the pelvic floor muscles, can help uh, improve the tone of the muscles uh, and the control. This exercise may benefit an individual for experiencing vaginal laxity or concerns about the tightness at that particular point. So pelvic physical therapy also is very important for individuals experiencing pelvic floor dysfunction or related, uh, related uh, issues. Pelvic physical therapy and trained uh, specialists can provide targeted exercises and also intervention to address concerns about vaginal tightness and also laxity. Also medical consultation is very important. If you, you have a concern about uh, vaginal tightness, are causing distress or impacting sexual function, consider consulting a healthcare provider, especially the gynecologist for evaluation and also guidance, so that they can assess for underlying medical conditions and provide personalized recommendations or treatments as needed, as needed at that particular point. Psychological support, very important. With the counseling, thera or, counseling or therapy, where if there's concerns of tightness are linked to psychological factors uh, such as anxiety, body image issues, or past trauma, consider seeking support from the therapist or counselor uh, experiencing, experiencing in health, sexual health, and also intimacy. Couples, uh, on the couples therapy, where now we have a couples therapy can be beneficial for addressing concerns related to sexual intimacy, for communication and also mutual satisfaction. A qualified therapist can facilitate open dialogue, provide education, and also offer strategies for enhancing the sexual connection and also pleasure. So managing the concerns of uh, perception of vaginal tightness involves holistic approach that encompasses communication, education, medical intervention, psychological support, by fostering open communication, understanding individual preferences and exploring uh, various avenues for sexual pleasure and also intimacy, individuals and couples uh, can work together to address the concerns and enhance uh, the sexual satisfaction. If concerns persist or impact the overall well-being, seeking guidance from uh, healthcare professionals or the therapists specializing in the sexual health can really help provide further support and also guidance. 
Sometimes we have uh, uh, complications related to vaginal tightness. Number one is about sexual dysfunction. So persistence worries or preoccupation about vaginal tightness can lead to sexual dysfunction, including increased libido, difficulty in achieving orgasm, or avoidance of sexual activity altogether. Number two is about relationship strain. Miscommunication or misunderstanding about vaginal tightness within a relationship can lead to tension, conflict, or feelings of inadequacy between partners. So unsolved issues may strain the relationship and impact the overall well-being of that relationship in terms of intimacy and also sexual satisfaction. Body image concerns. So excessive focus on perceived vaginal tightness might contribute to negative uh, body image issues also uh, leading to low self-esteem, self-consciousness and also feelings of insecurity uh, about uh, one's physical appearance. Number four is about anxiety and stress. Constant worry or anxiety about uh, vaginal tightness during the sexual activity can create a uh, cycle of strain and also tension, further exacerbating the sexual difficulties and also impacting the overall quality of uh, life. Physical discomfort is also one of it. Excessive pressure or, pressure or attempts to alter the vaginal tightness through things such as dodging, vaginal tightening creams, or insertion of objects can lead to uh, physical uh, discomfort, irritation, or injury to the delicate issues, tissues of the genital area. Number seven is avoidance of uh, health care. Fear or embarrassment about discussing Related, concerns related to vaginal tightness with the healthcare provider may, may, may delay uh, or uh, may, may make one not to seek the uh, healthcare provider uh, guidance and this may affect the impact, may impact the quality of one's uh, life uh, because of the, the one avoids, uh, the avoids uh, seeking treatment and when one gets to the medical provider it is really late, or the complications are very bad at that particular point. Impact on the sexual satisfaction. So persistent worries, preoccupation about vaginal tightness, may overshadow other aspects of sexual intimacy and pleasure leading to reduced sexual satisfaction for the both, uh, both uh, partners. So guys, for prevention part of it, it's very important to get education and awareness, understanding the variability, like I've mentioned, Educate uh, uh, oneself and partners about the natural uh, variability in vaginal anatomy, including the size, shape, and also elasticity, so that you get to understand the vaginal tightness can vary among individuals and may, over time, can help dispel misconception and reduce uh, the anxiety. Also, very important, uh, on sexual health and uh, education is very important. Seek reliable sources of information about sexual health, anatomy, and pleasure. Promote education about consent, pleasure, and also sexual activity diverse to foster a positive and inclusive mindset towards sexual experience. Open communication is very important. Where communication with your partner, maintain open and honest communication with the, your sexual partner about desires, preferences, and concerns related to intimacy so that uh, you encourage discussions about uh, comfort levels, boundaries and mutual satisfaction to build trust and also intimacy. Also discuss expectations where I clarify expectation, expectations and address misconceptions or unidealistic beliefs about the vaginal tightness. Encourage partners to express their desires and their concerns openly without uh, being judgmental and also or giving pressure to the other partner. On the positive body image, promote body positivity, cultivate a positive body image, self-esteem, focusing on self-care, self-acceptance, and also appreciation of one's unique qualities. So challenge social norms and stereotypes that perpetuate unrealistic beauty standards. Self-exploration is also another thing. Why I encourage self-exploration and self-pleasure uh, to understand one's own body and sexual responses. This can help develop a greater sense of comfort, confidence, and also urgency 
in their sexual experience. Healthy lifestyle habits where we encourage regular health, regular exercise is very important to promote overall well, uh, well-being of the body. So because exercise improves circulation, reduce stress and also enhance mood which can have uh, impact, uh, positive impact on uh, sexual function and also satisfaction. We have balanced diet as, a, as a also a strategy for preventing these uh, uh, problems with the sexual functioning. So maintaining a di healthy diet of vegetables, of uh, uh, fruits, whole grain, lean proteins, adequate nutrition supports overall, he overall health and uh, contribute to the sexual vitality and also well-being. On sexual wellness, we want to talk about uh, schedule regular visits, visits with the healthcare provider for routine sexual health, screening and checkups, discuss any concerns about uh, your sexual function, anatomy, uh, or pleasure openly with your healthcare provider. Also explore sensuality, prioritize sexual experiences, intimacy, connection with your partner beyond penetrative sex, experiment with different forms of touch, communication, and also pleasure to near pleasure to enhance sexual satisfaction and also fulfillment. So uh, preventing concerns or preventing concerns or, or perception related to vaginal tightness involves promoting edu uh, uh, education, communication, positive body image, health lifestyle habits. By fostering dialogue, understanding and acceptance of individual differences uh, can really uh, navigate through the sexual experience uh, with confidence help the partners to navigate uh, with confidence, pleasure, mutual satisfaction, and also encourage proactive approach to sexual health and awareness, which can contribute to fulfilling and satisfying sexual life. So guys, in, uh, uh, it's a great concern that uh, concerns or perceptions related to vaginal tightness can impact sexual health, relationships, overall well and overall well-being. So understanding natural variability in vaginal anatomy, promoting open communication and fostering positive uh, body image are key preventive measures uh, for these uh, uh, perceptions. So encouraging uh, education, health lifestyle, proactive approach to sexual wellness can help uh, one individual uh, or the individual and the partners in a get through experience with confidence pleasure and also mutual satisfaction. So by addressing concerns through communication, education and seeking appropriate support, individuals can enhance their sexual health, intimacy and also overall quality of life. Guys, welcome. The channel is Nazvin. Can if you have not subscribed, can I want to encourage you to subscribe. And also kindly like the video. By liking you get as a big recommended to the larger population and that is what we want. Uh, so that you, this kind of information, which is only in this channel, can reach a, a wider population. Guys, welcome, and also welcome to our next video. Peace, guys. We love you very much. Bye, guys.